Just an awesome deer. Well, here he is. Stay tuned to Dream Season Live for all our videos to come. Hey guys, welcome to Dream Season 2021, the first of many installments. This year, we're gonna bring you guys as many episodes as possible. The ups, the downs, the in-betweens, the work that goes into finding success in the field because as you guys know, success is the smaller part of the entire, the entire spectrum. So we're gonna bring you guys as much as we can. I'm actually out here today. I'm putting final touches on my Hawk box blind, getting curtain kits installed so I don't get silhouetted and the season is coming quick. One thing that's unique about this year from Alex and I's standpoint is that we've actually been able to purchase our very own farm. It is a pretty cool farm. We've hunted this for a handful of years now. So we've got quite the history of different deer that are in and out of this farm. And there's a few of them that we're really hoping to catch up with this season. Number one deer on my hit list is a buck that uh, I call Big Mac. He's been here since the first year that we got permission to hunt this farm. So this is the third year we've got history with him. I think he's at minimum six. He could be older. We've also got another buck that we call Top Hat. And Top Hat is a deer that is five years old. We also had photos of him from three years ago, then last year, and again this year. He is not quite as frequent on this farm. I, uh, he spends more, the majority of his time on the neighbors, but he does spend a decent amount of time on ours, and we've got a lot more food this year. I'm hoping that keeps him around, but other than that, the other team members are out and about doing their thing, and we're looking forward to bringing you as much content as possible in 2021. Yes! Your classic rut, huh? tag is filled. Well, as we're sitting here waiting for the deer to come out on Huxley's Youth Hunt, I'm just going to talk a little bit about, you know, some of our strategies and and some of the bucks we'll be hunting uh, this upcoming season. So this is actually a spot that I'll be hunting quite a bit. If the buck that I'll be hunting moves back in here, there's a buck in here that's, uh, it, I mean, I think we're gonna call him Dakota 2.0 because he's an absolute giant. We had pictures of him last year during the summer and he completely moved off about this time and then ended up showing back up. So we put this food plot in specifically for that deer the biggest thing we've been working on this off season is we bought a new farm this year and Hawksman here has been a very big help in getting it set up and, and that's what our focus has been this entire off season is uh, we got we got in six green plots we're gonna leave two acres of standing grain uh, one buck in particular that I'll be after is a buck that we haven't really named yet uh, but he has a really big drop time and that'll be my number one target deer for the year no matter what deer shows up anywhere else so he's actually been the most consistent deer on the farm out of any of them and then another buck that we'll be hunting is a buck that we call branch and then there's another uh, mainframe eight with a uh, split g2 and a kicker that hasn't been real consistent whatsoever but we've actually got velvet footage of him as well and a buck that I feel like our best opportunity to him will probably be late season when he comes back for the food. But those are our main three targets on our on our brand new farm. And uh, one buck in particular that we were after really hard last year is a buck we called Southpaw. I actually had him at 30 yards last year. Uh, we had him back on camera and he's a buck that will be after pretty hard this year. So we're excited to have you back for another year and another season of Dream Season Live. So. You're going to be able to follow along all year and hopefully we can bring you some awesome content. So we're going to start it off right here with Huxley putting the smack down on a big old bug, right buddy? Heck yeah.
He's too far, isn't he? I have no idea. He's too far, buddy. He's too far. So these were the bucks that we were going on today. They were too far. So I couldn't shoot them, but we, but we got them on camera. I just smoked Showtime. I am dead serious. <laughs> Well, I'm over here at the lease this morning. Uh, the Reconic cell cam started firing off in this uh, biologic final forage food plot. The cattle had found their way through the electric fence and into the plot. Uh, luckily, I just showed up here and I'm not seeing any cattle in here. Nonetheless, I brought some extra T posts. There's a few spots where I know I, I needed uh, some extra strength in this fence. So hopefully that'll solve our, solve our issue here and we won't have to keep coming back and fighting the cattle as we get to fall here so you know Dave Kramer and I were here just two days ago uh, finishing up our summer work putting in horizontal rub posts and trimming some shooting lanes on our double sets and the electric fence looked fine at that point uh, I'm assuming at some point yesterday with the high winds this tree branch broke off and of course landed right on the electric fence so that seems to be where that cow got into the plot at this is our best plot, my best plot that I have uh, on any of the properties that I hunt. So I, I want to protect this uh, this plot at all costs. Also where I uh, I harvested my, my big buck last year. So uh, it's kind of a sentimental spot and I, I think it can produce again if, uh, if we keep the food here and keep the cattle out of it. So we'll see if we can get lucky again this fall. Northwest winds at eight miles per hour. Pressure is on the rise. Front is moving. Perfect conditions for hot corner. Shooters been all over the south. Want to focus on afternoon movement. Hot corner, 3 p.m. It's the easiest decision you'll make this season. Get ahead of your game with DeerCast. Done. Yes, and we just knocked down a giant. I think we can carry it. Well, while we've got a little bit of downtime here, and I'm sweating. I might as well talk about what my plans for the season are. We've had a, a pretty good summer. Me, Taylor, and Chris actually share this farm, and we've got several mature bucks, but uh, one in particular is this big clean 10 that we think might be the deer that I wounded a couple years ago. Uh, that buck is gonna be a target come early muzzleover season, either myself, Alex, Taylor. So there's that, and then on my main farm, my home farm that I grew up hunting, a couple deer that come to mind in particular is a buck that I passed up late October last year at point blank range, he's a four year old probably 150, 155 inch uh, deer with just really tall brows. Uh, and there's a buck we call Greco. He should be six or seven years old this year. A friend of ours wounded him last year during the season and he had made it and didn't seem to be affecting him. So uh, again, hopefully he shows back up. That's another deer that doesn't summer on that farm, but does show up in October. One of the really unique deer on that farm is a buck we call Gimpy. And I just pulled cards last week and he had showed up. So that's what we have going, but uh, first step's gonna be Bryson, and then on the road to Colorado to chase elk over the counter on public land. I know a lot of the Dream Season live cast have fantastic deer to chase this year. I know Chris and Taylor both purchased new farms, and what they've been doing with those farms is, it's, it's awesome to see two of my buddies be able to take a farm and, and mold it into what they want for big deer, and this will be their first years getting to hunt those farms, so. I'm excited to see what those guys bring to the table from that, but either way, we better stop talking and start getting ready to, to hunt deer here tonight. It's getting a little bit later and that sun's gonna be behind the trees. And once that happens, we fully expect this uh, mossy oak biologic plot to fill up.
first night. We had a nice young buck out in the field here. But we know there's a, quite a few more big deer around. This isn't his first time, so we're trying to teach management a little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching Dream Season. We'll be on the road to Colorado tomorrow. Hopefully I have, at a minimum, some good film to share with you, and I sure hope to fill my tag. Another one down for dream season. That is just an awesome, awesome white tail. Hey guys, welcome to Dream Season Live 2021. I am out here today on a, a new farm for me this year, actually a farm that we purchased uh, late in December last year of 2020. And my main goals are to figure out how the deer use the farm, uh, take an inventory of what's here and get as many projects done that will benefit me in the future. Um, so that's what most of this year has been. Uh, anything from putting in a culvert that uh, collapsed on me and set me back on the rest of my food plot work for the year or cleaning out the edge of the pond that's overgrown, uh, putting in trails and getting a few food plots established and, and trails and access to get into those spots and trying to get some blinds set and just all the prep work that goes into uh, creating a, a deer habitat um, and, uh, and a place that I can hunt effectively. So, you know, starting in the spring, we, we burned this property, burned the CRP, and then established some food plots and got some, some blinds in place, and it's slowly but surely coming along. So there is one buck on this farm that I, I know is old enough based on last year's photos and, and now this year's photos, a buck that I call TB12. Um, he's a triple, triple brow buck with 12 points. Um, so I've nicknamed him T TB12 um, and maybe get him out of here because I don't think he's ever going to do anything, but he is mature. Um, and there are some younger bucks with some great potential on this property that I really want to hang around for at least another year. My home farm, the farm that I live on, will be one that I focus in on harder this year. We've been actually tweaking and, and putting a lot of work into that property for nine years now, and, and we're starting to really build up an age class that... Uh, that I'm happy about and, and excited to hunt. So hopefully in the coming weeks as the season opens, we're on some good deer and, and you guys can enjoy that with us. Saturday. I didn't think there'd be a whole lot here, but we've actually got a mature nine pointer showing up. And he's been on both cameras here. Like I said, and got this new pond here. So with it being hot, maybe that's got him coming here more often than what they have before. But the clover looks good. Deer cast says great. It's supposed to be a wind of about seven mile an hour. Don't know when they're gonna be moving quite yet with this cool weather, but we want to get in here a little early thinking that they get in here and move early, so we're gonna stay here and we'll keep you posted as stuff comes in here. We're about to wrap it up here with 
every week so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content this episode of dream season live is brought to you by motv for access to all our jury outdoors tv shows head over to the motv app today